Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> yeah, I know. I know a lot of people are scared. A lot of people are very uncomfortable this morning. That's why I want to do a live session. Can I answer some questions, calm some nerves? Hopefully, uh, hopefully, uh, you know, get you guys to uh, calm down a little bit. <clears throat> All right, we got we got people joining. All right, <clears throat> while people are joining, let's, let me go over the list real quick here. Coin market cap. Obviously, this morning we had uh, we had a big bounce. Okay, it was uh, it was very scary. Um, overall, I saw Bitcoin goes go as low as seventy. 7600 this morning 76 7700 uh before coming back up to where it is around 8700 now okay it was definitely a big bounce and once it hit there it came back up and now it's kind of hovering although overall market is going up uh market cap 422 is still slightly lower than yesterday's level i believe let's take a look real quick yeah look at that bounce right there i mean so yesterday we were uh, midday about 470 something yeah so we're definitely another 10 percent down from where we were yesterday so we're not we're nowhere near recover okay and you know I, I know a lot of people a lot of people on YouTube a lot of people um, basically are calming nerves saying you know they have seen this before and stuff like that well l let me tell you th this correction is one of the biggest that we have seen outside of i'm talking about even going back last year right even yesterday i decided to look at it um if you go back the last one year okay you look at some of these corrections that we had um in terms of total length and the the magnitude of the drop what we're seeing now is definitely the biggest one we have seen all year and this this goes back <clears throat> I apologize um, this goes back even to when China banned Bitcoin. Okay, so make mo make no mistake, this is a big one. Okay, so a lot of people are trying to downplay it and stuff like that. I'm not gonna try to hide that from you guys. This is a big correction, but right, um, we're gonna get through this. We are, and this is probably gonna be the best thing for you guys um, because this is this is gonna be one of those life lessons that later on, like I said, six months from now. You go look back upon it. You go thank yourself for going through this because this is the ultimate test of your willpower and your faith in cryptocurrency. And this is going to teach a lot of people a lot of important lessons that they they just ignored, right? Because there was no need when when everything is going up. Um, no one cares about the 50, 25, 25 rule. No one cares about taking profits. No one cares that you know they're holding on. Um, hundred percent of low caps because they're going up double triple quadruple every single week, right? Uh, it's really when you go through hardships like this that that really builds um, Builds all the skill the skill sets you really need to really excel in this market, right? So this correction is not over um, At least I don't I don't think so I you know it it's uh, it's looking like this might last for a few more weeks I don't think we're toward the bottom, but it definitely looks like we're we're doing well right now. We're at least holding and maybe going up a little bit from where, where we were this morning. But these are the times where <clears throat> you you're you go learn. <laughs> you go learn the hard way, right? You go learn how to hold. Okay. After we get through this, you go learn that taking profits is very important. Keeping cash on hand, okay, fiat currency uh, is very important. Okay, you go you go learn those things the hard way, but unfortunately sometimes you gotta learn things the hard way. Um, so I just want to start out with that. Um, you know, looking at the market like yesterday, almost everything is down. There's a few that there, there's a few that's actually holding really well. Like for example, Nano. 
is actually green because they got lit, you know, they got list on Binance, right? If this was any other day, Nano probably would have gone a lot higher. But the fact they're in the green, and then you look at some of these um, these other coins such as uh, EOS, uh, V Chain, yeah, they're down, but hardly. Neo down six percent. What surprised me was Ethereum. Ethereum was a rock. Okay, it was a rock yesterday, and then some point around nighttime, it flipped. And it, uh, Bitcoin is definitely the rock for today. Um, but still, Ethereum went down a little bit more than I anticipated. But it could be because a lot of people were holding on Ethereum and they simply pulled out Ethereum to buy other stuff for cheap. Um, so, yeah. So, I mean, overall market is, is obviously down, right? A lot of these are lower levels than yesterday. But that's to be expected. You know, one of the other lessons you go learn through this whole correction is knowing you know uh knowing how to cost average down and knowing when to buy when things are low because wealth is built by buying low okay and selling high and not the reverse um easier said than done i know right a lot of people have bought in very high and you have no choice but to hold if you can and or you have been cost averaging you can only go so far because before you run out of money right then you really have no choice but to just hold but just trust me when I tell you guys this, right? We will get through this, right? The market will improve, and you're going to look upon this time as a real uh, eye-opener, life-changing kind of uh, event where it's go only further and straighten, strengthen, straight, I don't know how to say that properly, strengthen your skill sets in trading cryptocurrencies and holding for the long haul and and all the other strategies i've been talking about for a long time all right so um as for good buys i mean honestly everything is a good buy i even bought a nifty buy button so everything is pretty much a buy right um but i'm not gonna do that today let's go get annoying because every single thing will be a buy um as for you know if there's anything that really sticks out today um you know what i i really don't know because there's so many good buys and when you look at these prices compared to even a week ago they're a steal and then you go back maybe two weeks or a month and then these are like at ridiculously low levels um so yeah there's a lot a lot of good buys for today all right let, let's Let's look at some of the comments here. <laughs> Which coin is going to double moonshot? Uh, I mean, pretty much all these. There's a lot. Looking at, looking at, um, let, let's take a look at some of these ones that I've been talking about a lot. Like I've been taught stressing about big caps a lot because they have been holding really well and they recover faster. Um, and that kind of shows today a lot of these bigger caps. Some of these actually dropped off big cap. These in, in terms of what I've been saying, five billions kind of the cutoff for big caps. So IOTA, Dash, Monero, um, Tron. I mean, these, go, these guys were all big caps and they kind of fell off. But Nevertheless, I mean, they're, they're still holding very well because you look at Monero, it's 5%. Um, Dash, yeah, it's, it's almost double digits. But, you know, IOTA is so-so. EOS is definitely really doing really well. Um, um, NEO is doing really well. Uh, Bitcoin is doing as well as it can be. You're looking at some of the things that I, I've been talking about a lot, like VeChain, $5 is a steal. Nano. Um, Nano is actually... You know what? It's it's heading higher and uh, it hasn't really dropped um, from recent times. I know it got as high as 30s before, but you know, recent times about 17, 18. So it's really holding really well. Um, you look at it's interesting because I've noticed that Tether has not minted any more coins <laughs> because of all the recent controversy. You would figure that there's a lot more Tether being printed. Uh, or minted during this time, but there really hasn't. Um, yeah, you look at solid plays like Icon, still one of my top top picks. Um, you got solid coins like Zcash actually held really well. It was actually in the green for most of yesterday. You got Zcash I was holding really well, Ami's Go, you know, Binance Coin. Really, 
didn't move much today, but you know, Binance Coin is still very good. You go down the list, <clears throat> you got uh, you got Walton that you know holding really well. You got uh, someone corrected me. I always call it Dixie Dow, but it's Digix Dow. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I call it Dick. Uh, so okay, um, you know what? Uh, Arter. Harder, man. Harder fell hard. It's under 50 cents. Someone's making a joke that Arter is now worth less than Dogecoin, and it is. Arter is definitely a buy. Um, they are getting clobbered right now. They are. Um, but I still believe in Arter. It's still, they're going to they're go figure their, 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 their shit out, okay? And they're going to market. They have to do more, better marketing, but... They go figure it out, but they're they're one of the ones that have really taken a beating recently. Um, gas and loop ring gas is good because it follows Neo loop ring. Yeah, it's holding it better today. Um, you got Dragon, you got basic attention coin. Uh, wow, Denta coin, Denta coin is green. Um, no, I, I don't have I don't have a sell button, or otherwise I would be pressing a sell button on Dentic Coin. Um, you got Ravine that's still doing well. You got uh, uh, what else is doing well? Syndicator that's holding really well. GX shares it's in the green. Mm, surprising. Um, Aeon I, I talked about Aeon uh, briefly. I, I like them. Um, Power Ledger, Power Ledger is definitely by sixty seven cents. You got, you got. Uh, I mentioned Dent. Man, Dent, Dent was a high flyer. It was above one billion. Okay, and it's hard to get above one billion, and then now come down to two hundred million. That's, you know, like almost what? That's more than seventy-five percent off. So a lot of these are simply um, 70, 80 percent off, and it is a buy right now. I know it's hard, right? No, everyone's fearful. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Everyone's fearful. No one who really can predict where things are going, right? People can only guess based on charts. And sometimes they work out, but sometimes they don't. So nothing's 100%. Of course, everyone's fearful because everyone's already lost a lot of money or holding, and um, they don't have any more money to put in. But if you do, this is a really good time to buy. Um, Enigma, you know, Chainlink, man, I mean... These are levels now. We're getting levels where it's some of these, especially the low caps. The big caps, not so much, because I said big caps have been holding much better. So if you look at low, big caps, they're still not um, they're not lower than, say, the beginning of December. But a lot of these low caps are definitely lower than where they were two, three, even sometimes four months ago. Um, for example, you know, uh, Neblio, when I was picking on Neblio, they were above 500 million, right? And now they're 167. Raiden, <clears throat> Raiden was um, in the in the in the sixes. Now it's, it's threes, right? So overall, uh, um, it's held decently. Blocknet, which I haven't talked about a lot, but they've been holding. They actually held really well. Um, Substratum is now under a dollar, 67 cents, really good buy. You got like Poet, that was, you know, around 300 million before. This is a good buy. Um, storage actually holding really well, around a dollar, so good for them. Um, you got, uh, let's see, turn that phone off, apologize. Um, you got Storm, the recent one. Man, this this has fell a lot, but Storm still has a uh, unbelievable advisory board. So I think there goes still do very well. Athlon, um, Athlon actually held pretty well. I think it's 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 about fifty percent off, but you know, and it's funny that fifty percent sounds good, but uh, it is when you compare to some of these that's fell that fell seventy eighty percent. Uh, Theta, a lot of people are excited about under 100 million now. Um, you got Simple Token, uh, Ambrosis, Vibe. A lot of people were very excited about Vibe when they came out. Um, you know, they still might do a Super Bowl commercial. I don't know. Maybe they cancel now because Super Bowl commercials are very, very, very expensive. You got Trinity under 100 million. 
uh, that shows potential. Um, you got Wabi, one that I've been talking about a lot. Um, actually, an article for IB Times I'm writing for today, or I wrote for today, is about Wabi. So whenever that gets posted, I will tweet that. Um, you got AppCoin, Telcoins, Nulls, three that I like all all around 72, 73 million. Um, yeah, what else? Unicorn Gold, man, that they took a they took a huge dump, forty eight cents now. Um, Ido two seventeen, uh, those two I like. Big Connect thirty percent down, so that that's what I like to see. Um, so that's good. Yeah, you got Lunar at twenty one. Uh, this is a surprise. Lunar is still higher than what I <clears throat> was still much higher than when I recommended it. So that's good. Um, and their their open beta seems to be going well now. Gifto is really a steal at forty five cents. I talked about Vibrate too. The music, um, the music industry. What is it? The music destination, I guess, is low at forty four million. I mean, a lot of these are just simply beyond low right now. This is like. It's like, uh, what do you call it? It's like Black Friday from like five years ago. Not Black Friday of recent times because they're, they've been really shitty. But like from five years ago when you get those doorbuster deals, I mean, this is kind of like what it is. The market, it seems to be going up, 431 million. But that's already 10 billion more than when I went through this list. So overall, it's looking pretty good. All right, let's take some questions. What's going on? Where are you, what are you guys thinking about? Well, here's an interesting one from Christian about Tether. Does Tether burn coins when money flows out? So that's, in my in my mind, that's what's supposed to happen, but you never see that. That's the problem with Tether, right? They, they their system is complicated. They, you know, they, they say that they're backed by dollars, right? But then there's they're also traded for cryptocurrency. So it should be both. But that, you know, obviously right now, no one knows if they have the dollars that backed it. But uh, when people are are trading um, Tether for, you know, when they're converting, say, Bitcoin to Tether and Tether back, you would figure that they would destroy tokens, but they never do. So I believe in ICX. Yes, I do, too. I think Icon is definitely really good. Um, what about ICO Kryptonium? A lot of people talk about it. I, I actually didn't look at them that much, but I know a lot of people is excited about it. Um, where do you see where do you see the future of altcoins? Uh, do you see Bitcoin going back at twenty thousand? Yes, definitely do. It might take longer than than before. That remember, like during um, remember during the month of December. I don't know many of you guys that have been following me for a while. You know that. I predicted that Bitcoin was going to end at fifteen thousand by year end, and then we hit fifteen thousand like the first week of December. I'm like, hey, uh, I, you know, I was way wrong, and then we got up to twenty thousand really quick, and then we came back down, and then we came back down, and we kind of ended around fifteen thousand. So you know, you never know. It's it's so volatile now. It could go up. It could go up a few thousand a day. It could go down a few thousand a day. But overall, we're all in it for the long haul, right? Um, and it will go back up to twenty thousand. Will Bitcoin fall to seven thousand again? It could. You know, we're not that far off. We this morning has shown that we we have the ability to fall that much in a day, but um, but it could come up just as fast. Uh, what is it? Is there any way to take advantage of this down market without injecting new fiat? Yes, but that's very tricky and very hard to do. You're basically, you have to make a decision. You're basically selling off what you have and buying something else that you think will grow back faster, right? So basically, let's say you, you have a low cap that, you think it's just not going to go up as fast as a big cap. Let's say, for example, NEO. 
then you have to take a risk and sell it by Neo. And when the market recovers, if you are right and Neo recovers faster, that's how you gotta take advantage. But it is, it is, uh, it is difficult. You never know. Um, but right now, that's why I said that. You know why I like big caps better because through this last month or so, uh, big caps definitely have shown that they have recovered faster and held much better during these downtrends. Uh, what alt will see the biggest jump and is the best buy long term? Uh, v chain icon or Wabi? If you had to pick a best buy right now to throw 1k at, oh, that's tough. I mean, long term, if you're talking about long term, I would say six months, six to 12 months out, I would say Wabi. From, from the fact that VeChain and Icon are already very high, sure, they could double or triple, but Wabi has potential to go 20x. Um, and I don't see VeChain and Icon having 20x potential within the next six months. So that's why I would choose Wabi. <laughs> Ubic. I don't even know what Ubic is. Let's take a look. Did they? Well, they've definitely fallen from their 677 at about 50% off. Smart contracts for an automated world. Decentralized platform, which allows creation and implementation of smart contracts in the central application, built upon improved Ethereum code base. Okay. Um, hmm. I don't know how I feel about this. So it looks like they took ethereum and improved it i don't know what that means if they forked it or they just or they're just they did something with ethereum and it acts as a uh allows developers to create decentralized automated solutions to thousands of tasks which are carrying on with third parties all right i don't know to be honest, I don't quite understand what they're doing. So they have a wallet. They have a browser. Um, they have a dedicated hardware wallet. And they have this protocol. I don't know if they're, they provide. I don't know. They provide. They have white-labeled you know, modules or applications that they allow other people to utilize and and use to develop. Um, I don't actually quite understand what they do. So can't say much about them. How low does the market cap have to go for you to get out of the denial stage and hit fear stage? Um, that's a good question. I mean, you got to be honest, right? I know that's probably a, you know, a question that's facetious, but uh, you got you got to be realistic, right? If the market crashes to two hundred billion tomorrow, yeah, I would say I would be panicking too. I mean, along with everyone else, right? But uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Would you buy Bitcoin, Neo, or Binance Coin in this current market? I would buy Neo right now if i had to buy something out of those three i would buy neo what color lambo man i downgraded from my lambo dreams down to uh a camry but i i still I still like that that green for lambo <laughs> Substratum, I like Substratum. I talked about them a lot. That was one of my recent picks, so I do like them. Uh, why do you believe the market cap will reach $2 trillion? Well, that, that's just my interpretation, seeing how 
how far or how fast the market has grown in 2017. I feel like that was like the golden era. Last year was kind of like the awareness um, stage where everyone got uh, or everyone started hearing about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, really started learning about it. And now you're actually seeing a lot more adoption, like say Robin Hood, you know, opening up Bitcoin trading. You got Cash App that's opening up Bitcoin trading. Um, you definitely see CNBC and all these media, whether it's good or bad, talk about like Bitcoin and Ripple and stuff like that. So the awareness is definitely coming. There's still a lot more cryptocurrency people don't quite understand. But um, due to that and due to the growth and seeing how blockchain technology is so early on and we're just getting started with uh, with what it's capable of, that's why I think 2018 will just be a tremendous year for uh for cryptocurrency and we're just remember we're only in the first week of february so a lot of things could happen really quickly do you think there's a chance that ethereum takes number one over bitcoin yes i said that yesterday i think there's a very good chance that ethereum will overtake it in market cap not in the dollar amount per token because there's the circular supply will not allow that, but in terms of over market cap, yes, definitely. <laughs> How are you recording when you sold your house? Um, I'm actually at a friend's house. All right, Mike's thinks Ethereum will not overtake a market cap. We'll see. All right. What other questions you guys have? Come on. How's the market doing? Let's check it really quick here. It's definitely moving up in the right direction. Bitcoin above 9,000. At least the average is above 9,000. It's almost even. You got NEO that's coming up. You got EOS that's coming up. Monero, IOTA, definitely markets moving in the right direction, but still we're like at least five to ten percent off from yesterday. But it could be that that seven thousand bounce was what we needed. Man, you got you got Nano now at six percent. You got Populous, which a lot of people are very excited about, is two percent up. They're at two billion. Um, Binance Coin at five percent. Definitely things are moving in the right direction. That's for sure. What about Litecoin? Yeah, I, I talked about Litecoin a lot. It's definitely one of those stable coins. Um, at 134, oh man, this is this has gone down a lot. I, I would say uh, this is a good buy. I think Litecoin has been taking a breather for a while, but I think it's a good buy. I'm sniffing because I did too much coke last night. Um, Bitcoin private? No. I don't like anything that's a fork off of Bitcoin. I don't even really like Bitcoin cash. Do you think VeChain want to rebrand to will go up to $15? Um, it can, but probably not right away. Is Verge dead? No, I don't think it's dead. It's, it's just that the whole market is pulling it down. It'll come back up. Do you think Ripple will get back to 350? Um, I think it's going to take a while. I think 350 was just too fast. Um, you know, I, I see it. It can go back up to $2, um, I would say, pretty easily. But to get up to three fifty, it's going to take a while. It should have never gone up there. Just like, you know, unfortunately, people get bought, get caught in the hype, right? People, there's FOMO goes both ways. It goes up and down. So people got into it. Ripple just, you know, went too far too fast. Will BTC dominance go up to 40 plus percent again once uptrend starts again? I don't know because 
Uh, a lot of people has a lot more faith in um, in all coins, especially Ethereum. If Ethereum's market cap starts moving up, um, and along with some of these big caps like Ripple, Cardano, Neo, um, you know what? BTC dominance might not go up to forty percent anymore. <laughs> Bit 20 is kind of like the S&P 500. Yeah, I looked into that. It's like kind of like a fund. Not too, not to, not much of a fan of that. Um, it's interesting. So one said, what about syndicator predicted a collapse of 400 billion, which already happened? I have to see. You know what? If it's really that accurate, this is the second time someone told me Syndicator predicted it. I'll have to see how they predict it and see how accurate it is. Why can't I buy Nano on Binance? They just open it up, so you might have to wait a little bit. Yeah, a lot of people love nulls. I do too. I think nulls is really, really, really undervalued at this point. <laughs> Tron. Man, Tron is just it's holding back right now. Let's see. Let's refresh this again. Tron is just like Ripple shot up way too fast, way too much. At four cents, it's looking pretty attractive, though. I, I got to say, well, look at all these. <laughs> Every single one is pretty much showing the same kind of uh, path down and it's bouncing up. Every single one, right, with the exception of Nano, actually, and Lisk a little bit. Um, Tron will go back up. Uh, it's, you know, Unfortunately, it just it's, in my opinion, it's not going to go back up to where it was, like 28 cents, 30 cents, um, not for a long time. Um, but definitely to be in the high cap, a big cap at $5 billion, it, it definitely belongs there. But to, for it to go up to, you know, for it to go up to, like, where it was, like, around 5 or 6, that's just a little bit too high for trying, in my opinion. Not at this stage, at least. Telcoin, I still like Telcoin a lot. And they have dropped tremendously. Where do they go? Yeah, 77 million, man. Um, they were at a peak around 226 million. So, uh, yeah, definitely 70 or 80 percent. Definitely, uh, a good buy right now. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could hear that cash button. I hope that's coming through. Any good ICOs? Honestly, I haven't been concentrating that much on ICOs. I, I plan on to, but I haven't really dug into ICOs recently. Is Dash get, worth getting into? You know, I don't cover Dash that much, but it, it's definitely... It's definitely the, the most widely used, you know, the privacy coin out there, right? Um, but I don't I don't follow that much because I don't uh, I don't hear much about it. It kind of just does this thing and it's been going up this whole year in 2017. Definitely made huge moves up, but then uh, it's kind of fell off the radar in terms of I don't really hear anything about it. Do you think Robinhood will bring Bitcoin back up to 15, 20K? I think Robinhood opening it up is definitely um, a game changer. Okay, I know it's small, and I said this too. They're opening up, only opening up in five states, um, but once they do open up to the majority of states, and they have plans on adding a lot more than just Bitcoin, right? And Bitcoin, and Ethereum, they have plans to add up to ten altcoins, and if they truly allow you to buy up to ten altcoins. Uh, with fiat currency, right, and allow all 50 states to participate, that's huge. That's a game changer, not just for Bitcoin, for all the altcoins they plan on listing. I don't know why they're listing Dogecoin, though. 
I think they should stop that. I don't know, about five big states. I, I don't think it was five big states. California was the biggest by far. The other ones are not. New York and Illinois were not in the five states. Is Robin Hood better than Coben Hood? Yes, at this point. How did you originally hear about cryptocurrencies? Well, I, I've come from an IT background, so I've heard about it. Unfortunately, I didn't hear about it at the beginning when it first came out. Uh, I was destroyed. I was. I used to play stocks, trade stocks. Uh, got in at you know 2005, 2006 when everything was going up. Then 2007, 2008 hit, the housing market crashed, and I got destroyed. So for about two or three years, all the way up to about 2010, uh, I got of all investments, everything, because I was really destroyed. Um, I got caught. I got caught in the bubble that everyone else did. You know, thought that everything was gonna go up to the moon, and it was going that way until it got destroyed. So I didn't hear about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies um, until about 2010, and then even and then I got into mining. I was mining Litecoin then. Do you think the whales and funds are manipulating the market to clear smaller profits and pay less? No, because it's already too late, right? It's passed. It's passed it on 17. So whatever they're manipulating right now is going to be for 2018 taxes. <sighs> I Yeah, I lost my house in bubble. Fuck Wall Street. Yeah, it's true, okay? Because... You know what? This is, I think a lot of people forget about why Bitcoin started. And I'll just tell you Bitcoin started because of the housing crash, right? People didn't trust banks. You know, banks and the government and the Federal Reserves and everyone that's in the financial industry have been running banks for hundreds and hundreds of years, right? You figure they know what they're doing. That's what the government wants you to think. Then, you know what? This uh, mortgage backed securities that was very toxic. They got greedy. All the banks got greedy. Everyone started selling these risky um, loans, and it crashed. It almost got to a point where it crashed the whole world's financial system. That's how bad it was. And the Federal Reserves had to print billions upon billions of fake money to, to get banks to start loaning again. And the FDIC had to raise the insurance rates of accounts from 100000 to 250000 Otherwise, everyone was going to withdraw. Um, so it was really bad. That's why Bitcoin was invented because they wanted to take away, um, they want to take away that third party and allow people to actually hold and transfer money between each other, right? And it puts the trust back into the people. So um, I think a lot of people forget about that. People are kind of wondering why Bitcoin started and stuff. And I'll give you another example too: how how taking your own money is a hindrance. I called Chase Bank this morning and I'm like, I want to take out $50,000 cash because I, I plan on doing something and showing you guys an example of that. And the guy I spoke to on the phone freaked out. He's like, why do you want to take out that much cash? We, You can't take out that much. And he was questioning me. I'm like, it's my money. I can do whatever I want. How can I take it out? And he never had anyone ask him that. So now he has to go talk to his manager and call me back. Right? So... Um, with Bitcoin, if I want to transfer 50000 from one wallet to another or I want to transfer it to you guys, I could do that instantly without getting anyone's approval. If I want to take out 50000 cash from my bank account, from my own bank account, I'm getting questioned on why, why I'm doing that. And they're giving me a runaround of when I could do that or if I could do that. So it's a big difference. Was it for a deposit for a new Lambo? No, <laughs> it's actually for a, uh, for a new video I'm going to be making. I'm going to may be making a point with that. Yeah, people are saying, you know, 10,000. Yeah, they have a lot of these rules, 
a lot of these rules. The India banned crypto. So that's the interesting thing. You know, if you guys looked at my video yesterday, um, let's see. I don't know if I can show it. It's too far along, but there was some some people that chimed in from um, from India that basically said that the whole news report was misinterpreted. They weren't planning on banning Bitcoin, so unfortunately, that's uh, I'm I'm not gonna scroll through the whole thing. It's just too much. All right, I think it's uh, it's long enough. I know um, a lot of people. Hopefully, I answered some questions. So, I mean, basically, you know, the market is definitely not not where it should be, not where everyone wants to see it. It's recovering a little bit, but um, you know what? When others are fearful, is when you should be greedy. Uh, I know I but butchered that line, but that's that's truly how it is, right? When others are fearful. And when things look like they're just going to hell, that's when you need to take advantage because that's when wealth is truly built. No one, no one builds true wealth by buying on top, right? You buy it on the bottom and you wait for it to go top, and that's how you make true wealth. Um, right now, Bitcoin and and the big caps are definitely Bitcoin, and Ethereum definitely are the staples. The big caps are holding really well; they're going up very well. Um, they're recovering well. The low caps is taking a while to recover, but when the market recovers, I anticipate it will go up just like everything else. Um, yeah, someone confirmed India news is not a ban, right? That's why I expected. That's why yesterday's news, yesterday's video, I said, you know what? Just like all the South Korean bans, everyone talks about how, um, how like they were going to ban. Uh, Bitcoin and and then there's other reports that say well no they're not banning Bitcoin it's just more regulations right um, here I'll put on me so you guys can look at me um, yeah same thing with India news yesterday you know there's reports that India's go ban Bitcoin but it was just misinterpretation even people from India said that they 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 read the news they listened to it and that's not what they're saying at all so um, so it's just it, it's just funny how things get misinterpreted stop watching the news <laughs> um someone keeps asking about nexus actually i don't i don't know much about nexus so uh, i'll try to look at that um george i have a private company making money i would like to take a public to bitcoin investors okay go ahead go run ico you'll probably do pretty well Where's your bottle, Jameson? I finished it. I have to go get another bottle. Um, portfolio percentages. Yeah, I follow the 40-40% rule. So um, that's what I do. How do you convert Bit Bitcoin to ETH? I mean, how do you not know that? <laughs> you could do that in Bitrix pretty easily. You could do that in uh, Binance pretty easily, just like any other trading pair. George, when did you retire? Um, probably not going to be for a while. Probably not going to be for a while. Gym after video, maybe. Maybe. Favorite CryptoCon YouTube, thank you. Appreciate that. Um, do you think Substrainer will get back to $3 soon? Uh, I don't know about soon. It will. But uh, I could see it easily going to $1.50, $2. But $3, it's going to be a while. Do you think, this is a good question, do you think we lost a newbie segment that piled into cryptos in December, January, and now I pulled out? Yes. That is a good question, and that is the reason why I think the market has gone down as much as it has. Of course, whales and funds are manipulating the market. We know that. Futures also plays into a small part, but 
yes, a lot of the noobs that got in in December and in January um, have left because they just want to get in. They want they wanted to become instant millionaires, right? And once they saw the market go down, they started pulling out. That's where the long term investing, um, having a good strategy, pulling for a long haul is really go what's go build true wealth for the people that have stuck in uh, and, and have just been riding this out. Did you see David J's new video where he gave me a shout out? No, that sounds great. I don't know who David J is though. If someone wants to put it in the link, I'll take a, take a look. <laughs> George, my friend and I drank a shot every time you fix your glasses, we blacked out. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh that's funny uh yeah my dog that's one of my dogs uh she's kind of old she's a cocker and lost some mix oh david hay oh i've heard of david hay I, I'm actually a fan of David Hay. If he gave me a shout-out, that would be great. Uh, I, I watched some of his uh, earlier videos, and I know he's he's uh, he has a lot of influence on YouTube now. Do you think Storm will hit Bitrix or Binance? That's almost a guarantee because Storm has the CEO of Bitrix listed as advisor. So if that doesn't uh, say something, I don't know what will. So Bitrix for sure, and I'm sure Binance will look at them because they they have a crazy good advisory team. Can we have an insider's party? Yes. I plan on having one probably July or August of this year. Do you always skip Stratus? Uh, yes, because I'm not a fan of Stratus. Uh, I shouldn't say that. I'm not... I'm not not a fan of Stratus. I'm just neutral. Is they're already pretty high? Uh, I'm from the Midwest. For people that are wondering. That's a Japanese name. I don't. I don't know about that. I don't think so. Um, Lund predictions. I think Lund will Lunar will go up just like with anything else. It's just down due to the market. I mean, uh, you know, when people are fearful in the market, it's it's hard for them to hold. Um, it's hard for them to hold their smaller coins because they they kind of lose faith in it, and they're like, you know what, this company's probably not worth it. Let me sell it. So unfortunately, that's how it is. No, I'm not Vietnamese. I'm Chinese. And the 2018 market, I've said this. And a lot of people don't believe me. I think it's going to be six billion. I mean, six trillion. I think the overall market cap is going to go to six trillion. Uh, it's looking pretty good right now. Do I use any particular bots? No. All right. I think I'll end this. Most of the questions are, are kind of the same, repeating over and over. Um, why 6 trillion? Because I think that we were very close to 1 trillion um, only a few months ago. And I think going up 6x this year is actually a conservative number. So I think 6 trillion is very reasonable. Um, so once said Bitcoin is down to the Asian new lunar year, yeah, it could be. I mean, a lot of people said that, right? That's the second week of February, so we'll see. That's coming up. Pack coin or leaf coin? I like, I like, uh, I like Denta coin more. <laughs> Do 
Do you do I use chart analysis? No, not really. Not for cryptos. Um, I know that. So yes, yeah, sometimes they they can be right, but the whales control it too much. Crypto market is so low. That's why I don't I don't trust it that much. Do I hold them? No, I I honestly haven't looked into them as much as I should, as much as I should have, seeing how it is a big big cap. But uh, yeah, I should, I do need to look at them more. Pick for forty k subs, maybe I don't know. It's, you know, my jump from twenty to thirty k subs is really quick. Now thirty to forty is definitely much harder. So maybe I could do something. But the market has to recover. Otherwise, there's no point. Then it's coming out of the Android app in March. Good. They definitely that's the market they want to hit. They, they're trying to hit the poor markets, and most most of them have like free Android phones. They don't really have iPhones. INT, I talked about INT before. I'm not a fan of their, their whole model. Cardano or Steam? Uh, that's a tough one. I don't know. I really don't know between those two. You guys like this bell? <laughs> All right, someone keeps asking me. The alt seem to be pegged to the value of BTC. Will we see some moving more independently as the roadmaps? Yeah, definitely. Not all the alts. I mean, yes, in a general up and down, alts do follow it, but a lot of them move independently, Where, especially if they get pumped, right? A lot of these coins get pumped, and then they're obviously independent. Um, You don't like the bell. Why not? Come on. I'm going to keep doing this until you guys like it. Uh, do I watch soccer? No. I don't like I don't like soccer. Power Ledger. I'm a big fan of Power Ledger. I've been talking about Power Ledger for a long time. I think they're they're going to do very well, especially now that they're down. They're down like fifty percent. When will Tether die? I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully soon. Do I regret converting my Bitcoin to ETH? Well, today you could argue that yes, but no. Overall, I th I still like it for now. I'll have to see like maybe a month or two when when it completely reverses where bitcoin actually goes up faster and holds better then i'll switch back to bitcoin <laughs> i don't like soccer because of the u.s no one watches soccer that's why <laughs> Talk about Thor, VeChain's rebranding. I'm not a fan of rebranding. I told you guys that. I've never been a fan of rebranding. I think that's a, I think that's a cheap way to uh, increase value. Although I know a lot of people do like rebranding, thinks it's a better name. And I think if you're a big cap, you don't need to rebrand. Re I think that's ridiculous. That's like Microsoft saying, we're going to rebrand to whatever, Micro Hard or whatever, or Micro. Uh, there's no need. You, you build a brand, people know your name. There's no need to rebrand. Am I a hockey fan? Uh, Blackhawks do pretty well, so I do watch them, but I'm more of a basketball fan. Trump coin, Wabi. I like Wabi. You know, a lot of people ask me to reveal my portfolio, and even for my insiders, I don't, okay, because I don't want people to just blindly follow what I have. Um, that's why I give recommendations, but 
I never show what pe people what I actually own. How much time do I spend looking at cryptos every day? Uh, like literally, probably 16 hours a day. And that's not a good thing. You know, this, this goes back to where sometimes you need to take a break. But for me, since I have to make these videos, I have to write articles, I have to make recommendations, I have to uh, obviously cater to the insiders with questions. I got to I gotta be on it like pretty much all the time. Yes, this is my full-time job now. That's how I'm able to do a live session at 10.30 a.m. <laughs> Best all recommendation for 2018? Um, I don't know. All my low caps... You know, all the picks I reveal on Insider that I've been revealing, um, they all have moonshot ability, capable, and they're capable of that. So it, it just really depends on which one actually, you know, gets known or um, which one catches on. So I can't really pick one. Quantum, I like Quantum. They've been held back. They've been held back, definitely. Pick nulls, yeah. You guys know I like nulls, right? I'm the, I'm the only person that ever talked about nulls. Now people are talking about more, but I, I brought up nulls months before anyone else did. But unfortunately, um, because no one else have really caught on to it, it hasn't really moved, but Nulls is definitely super, super undervalued right now. Where will the new money come from? And most, most of the people who got burnt left, you got to realize, okay, the amount of money in cryptocurrency is nothing compared to stocks or any other investment in the world. Most people are not investing in cryptos, not investing in cryptos. There's so much more new money that can flow in. It's it's mind boggling how much, how little the cryptocurrency space is in the world. Uh. Yeah, I wish I could do an ICO, but too much work for an ICO. What mobile wallet do I use? I use IDO. I mean, I really do. I like IDO. It's another another company not a lot of people have heard of before. People have heard of Bread, but even Bread is not doing too well right now. Yes. Well, I, I, I follow the 40, 40, 20 rule, uh, but pretty close to the 50, 25, 25 rule. Yes. And I followed the 50, 25, 25 rule for basically a whole year uh, before I decided to change it up. So I don't just preach it without following it. I do. <laughs> Uh, is this a dead cap bounce? It could be. It could be. We'll have to see later this later today. The 50, 25, 25 rule, those of you guys don't know, five, 50% of bit, uh, Bitcoin, 25% uh, of big caps, and 25% of low caps. Extensive coin. 
Extensive coin to the new high-end coin. Uh, check it out before CMC listing. Okay, I will. I'll, I'll see. All right, got to go. It's about an hour now. Um, I think uh, we had a pretty good session today. So hang in there, guys. This will get better, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Um, at 134, oh, man, this is this has gone down a lot. I, I would say uh, this is a good buy. I think Litecoin has been taking a breather for a while, but I think it's a good buy. I'm sniffing because I did too much coke last night. Um, Bitcoin private? No, I don't like anything that's a fork off of Bitcoin. I don't even really like Bitcoin cash. Do you think VeChain want to rebrand to will go up to $15. Um, it can, but probably not right away. Is Verge dead? No, I don't think it's dead. It's just that the whole market is pulling it down. It'll come back up. Do you think Ripple will get back to 350? Um, I think it's going to take a while. I think 350 was just too fast. Um, you know, I, I see it. It can go back up to $2, um, I would say, pretty easily. But to get up to 350 it's going to take a while. It should have never gone up there. Just like, you know, unfortunately, people get bought, get caught in the hype, right? People, there's FOMO goes both ways. It goes up and down. So people got into it. Ripple just, you know. Went too far too fast. Will BTC dominance go up to 40 plus percent again once the uptrend starts again? I don't know because uh, a lot of people has a lot more faith in um, in all coins, especially Ethereum. If Ethereum's market cap starts moving up, um, and along with some of these big caps like Ripple, Cardano, Neo, um, you know what? BTC dominance might not go up to 40 percent anymore. Bit 20 is kind of like the S&P 500. Yeah, I looked into that. It's like kind of like a fund. Not too not to not much of a fan of that. Um It's interesting. So one said, what about syndicator predicted a collapse of 400 billion, which already happened. I have to see. You know what? If it's really that accurate, this is the second time someone told me Syndicator predicted it. I'll have to seek in December. I'm like, hey, uh, I, you know, I was way wrong. And then we got up to twenty thousand really quick, and then we came back down. And then we came back down, and we kind of ended around fifteen thousand. So you know, you never know. The, it's it's so volatile now. It could go up. It could go up a few thousand a day. It could go down a few thousand a day. But overall, we're all in it for the long haul, right? Um, and it will go back up to 20,000. Will Bitcoin fall to 7,000 again? It could, you know, we're not that far off. We, this morning has shown that we, we have the ability to fall that much in a day, but, um, but it could come up just as fast. Uh, what is it? Is there any way to take advantage of this down market without injecting new fiat? Yes, but that's very tricky and very hard to do. You're basically, you have to make a decision. You're basically selling off what you have and buying something else that you think will grow back faster, right? So basically, let's say you, you have a low cap that, you think it's just not going to go up as fast as a big cap. Let's say, for example, NEO. 
that you have to take a risk and sell it by Neo. And when the market recovers, if you are right and Neo recovers faster, that's how you kind of take advantage. But it is, it is, uh, it is difficult. You never know. Um, but right now, that's why I said that. You know why I like big caps better because through this last month or so. Uh, big caps definitely have shown that they have recovered faster and held much better during these downtrends. Uh, what alt will see the biggest jump and is the best buy long term? Uh, v chain icon or Wabi? If you had to pick a best buy right now to throw 1K at, oh, that's tough. I mean, Long term, if you're talking about long term, I would say six months, six to twelve months out, I would say Wabi. From from the fact that V Chain and Icon are already very high, sure they could double or triple, but Wabi has potential to go twenty x. Um, and I don't see V Chain and Icon having twenty x potential within the next six months. So that's why I would choose Wabi. <laughs> Ubic. I don't even know what Ubic is. Let's take a look. Did they? I don't think it was five big states. California was the biggest by far. The other ones are not. New York and Illinois were not in the five states. Is Robin Hood better than Coben Hood? Yes, at this point. How did you originally hear about cryptocurrencies? Well, I, I've come from an IT background, so I've heard about it. Unfortunately, I didn't hear about it at the beginning when it first came out. Uh, I was destroyed. I was I used to play stocks, trade stocks. Uh, got in at you know 2005, 2006 when everything was going up. Then 2007, 2008 hit the housing market crashed, and I got destroyed. So for about Two or three years, all the way up to about 2010, uh, I got of all investments, everything, because I was really destroyed. Um, I got caught. I got caught in the bubble that everyone else did. You know, thought that everything's gonna go up to the moon, and it was going that way until it got destroyed. So I didn't hear about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies on, um, until about 2010, and then even and then I got into mining. I was mining Litecoin then. Do you think the whales and funds are manipulating the market to clear smaller profits and pay less? No, because it's already too late, right? It's passed. It's passed it on 17. So whatever they're manipulating right now is going to be for 2018 taxes. <sighs> I Yeah, I lost my house in bubble. Fuck Wall Street. Yeah, it's true, okay? Because... You know what? This is, I think a lot of people forget about why Bitcoin started. And I'll just tell you Bitcoin started because of the housing crash, right? People didn't trust banks. You know, banks and the government and the Federal Reserves and everyone that's in the financial industry have been running banks for hundreds and hundreds of years, right? You figure they know what they're doing. That's what the government wants you to think. Then, you know what? This uh, mortgage backed securities that was very toxic. They got greedy. All the banks got greedy. Everyone started selling these risky um, loans, and it crashed. It almost got to a point where it crashed the whole world's financial system. That's how bad it was. And the Federal Reserves had to print billions upon billions of fake money to, to get banks to start loaning again. And the FDIC had to raise the insurance rates of accounts from 100000 to 250000 Otherwise, everyone was going to withdraw. Um, so it was really bad. That's why Bitcoin was invented because they wanted to take away. Um, they wanted, but that's to be expected. You know, one of the other lessons you go learn through this whole correction is knowing, you know, uh, knowing how to cost average down and knowing when to buy when things are low, because wealth is built by buying low, okay, and selling high, and not the reverse. Um, easier said than done, I know. 
right? A lot of people have bought in very high and you have no choice but to hold. If you can or you have been cost averaging, you can only go so far because before you run out of money, right? Then you really have no choice but to just hold. But just trust me when I tell you guys this, right? We will get through this, right? The market will improve and you will look upon this time as a real uh, eye-opener, life-changing kind of uh, event where it's go only further and straighten, strengthen, stra I don't know how to say that properly, strengthen your skill sets in trading cryptocurrencies and holding for the long haul and, and all the other strategies I've been talking about for a long time, all right? So, um, as for good buys, I mean, honestly, everything is a good buy. I even bought a nifty buy button. So everything is pretty much a buy, right? Um, but I'm not gonna do that today. That's gonna get annoying because every single thing will be a buy. Um, as for, you know, if there's anything that really sticks out today, um, you know what? I, I really don't know because there's so many good buys. And when you look at these prices compared to even a week ago, they're a steal. And then you go back maybe two weeks or a month, and then these are like at ridiculously low levels. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of good buys for today. All right, let, let's, let's look at some of the comments here. Which coin is going to double moonshot? Uh, I mean, pretty much all these. There's a lot looking at looking at um, let's take a look at some of these ones that I've been talking about a lot. Like I've been ta stressing about big caps a lot because they have been holding really well and they recover faster. Um, and that kind of shows today a lot of these bigger caps. Some of these actually dropped off big caps in, in terms of what I've been saying. Five billions kind of the cutoff for big caps. So IOTA, Dash, Monero. Um, Tron. I mean, these go, these guys were all big caps, and they kind of fell off. But nevertheless, I mean, they're they're still holding very well. Because you look at Monero, it's five percent. Um, Dash, yeah, it's it's almost double digits. But looking at looking at um, let, let's take a look at some of these ones that I've been talking about a lot. Like I've been ta stressing about big caps a lot because they have been holding really well, and they recover faster. Um, and that kind of shows today a lot of these bigger caps. Some of these actually dropped off big caps in, in terms of what I've been saying, five billions kind of the cutoff for big caps. So IOTA, Dash, Monero, um, Tron. I mean, these go, these guys were all big caps and they kind of fell off. But nevertheless, I mean, they're, they're still holding very well because you look at Monero, it's 5%. Um, Dash, yeah, it's, it's almost double digits, but, you know, IOTA is so-so. EOS is definitely really doing really well. Um, um, NEO is doing really well. Uh, Bitcoin is doing as well as it can be. You're looking at some of the things that I, I've been talking about a lot, like VeChain, $5, it's a steal. Nano. Um, Nano is actually, you know what, it's, it's heading higher, and uh, it hasn't really dropped um, from recent times. I know it got as high as 30s before, but you know, recent times about 17, 18. So it's really holding really well. Um, you look at, it's interesting because I noticed that Tether has not minted any more coins <laughs> because of all the recent controversy. You would figure that there's a lot more Tether being printed uh, or minted during this time, but there really hasn't. Um, yeah, you look at solid plays like Icon, still one of my top top picks. Um, you got solid coins like Zcash actually held really well. It was actually in the green for most of yesterday. You got Zcash, I was holding really well. Ami's Go, you know, Binance Coin really didn't move much today, but you know, Binance Coin is still very good. You go down the list, <clears throat> you got uh, you got Walton that you know holding really well. You got uh, someone corrected me. I always call it Dixie Dow, but it's Digix Dow. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I call it Dick. Uh, so, okay. Um, you know what? Uh, Ardor. 
Ardor, man, Ardor fell hard. It's under 50 cents. Someone's making a joke that Ardor is now worth less than Dogecoin, and it is. Ardor is definitely a buy. Um, they are getting clobbered right now. They are. Um, but I still believe in Ardor. It's still, they're going to they're go figure their, 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 their shit out, okay? And they're going to market. They have to do more, better marketing, but... They're going to figure it out, but they're they're one of the ones that have really taken a beating recently. Um, gas and loop ring gas is good because it follows NEO. Loop ring, yeah, it's holding it better today. Um, and of that. Um, it's interesting. So one said, what about syndicator predicted a collapse of 400 billion? which already happened. I have to see. You know what? If it's really that accurate, this is the second time someone told me Syndicator predicted it, I'll have to see how they predict it and see how accurate it is. Why can't I buy Nano on Binance? They just open it up, so you might have to wait a little bit. Yeah, a lot of people love nulls. I do too. I think nulls is really, really, really undervalued at this point. <laughs> Tron, man, Tron is just, it's holding back right now. Let's see, let's refresh this again. Tron is just like Ripple shot up way too fast, way too much. At four cents, it's looking pretty attractive, though. I, I got to say, well, look at all these. <laughs> Every single one is pretty much showing the same kind of uh, path down and it's bouncing up. Every single one, right? With the exception of Nano, actually, and Lisk a little bit. Um, Tron will go back up. Uh, it's, you know, unfortunately, it just, it's, in my opinion, it's not going to go back up to where it was, like 28 cents, 30 cents, um, not for a long time. Um, but definitely to be in a high cap, a big cap at $5 billion, it, it definitely belongs there. But to, for it to go up to, you know, for it to go up to, like, where it was, like, around 5 or 6, that's just a little bit too high for Tron, in my opinion. Not at this stage, at least. Telcoin, I still like Telcoin a lot. And they have dropped tremendously. Where do they go? Yeah, 77 million, man. Um, they were at a peak around 226 million. So, uh, yeah, definitely 70 or 80 percent. Definitely, uh, a good buy right now. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could hear that cash button. I hope that's coming through. Any good ICOs? Honestly, I haven't been concentrating that much on ICOs. I, I plan on to, but I haven't really dug into ICOs recently. definitely moving up in the right direction bitcoin above nine thousand at least the average is above nine thousand it's almost even you got neo that's coming up you got eos that's coming up monero iota definitely markets moving in the right direction but still we're like at least five to ten percent off from yesterday but it could be that that seven thousand bounce was what we needed man you got you got nano now at six percent, you got Populous, which a lot of people are very excited about, is two percent up. They're at two billion. Um, Binance Coin at five percent. Definitely, things are moving in the right direction. That's for sure. What about Litecoin? Yeah, I, I talked about Litecoin a lot. It's definitely one of those stable coins. Um, at one thirty-four. Oh man, this is this has gone down a lot. I, I would say uh, this is a good buy. I think Litecoin has been taking a breather for a while, but I think it's a good buy. <laughs> what 
I'm sniffing because I did too much coke last mm -hmm. night. Um, Bitcoin private? No, I don't like anything that's a fork off of Bitcoin. I don't even really like Bitcoin cash. Do you think VeChain want to rebrand to will go up to fifteen dollars? Um, it can, but probably not right away. Is Verge dead? No, I don't think it's dead. It's, it's just that the whole market is pulling it down. It'll come back up. Do you think Ripple will get back to 350? Um, I think it's going to take a while. I think 350 was just too fast. Um, you know, I, I see it. It can go back up to $2. Um, I would say pretty easily, but to get up to 350, it's gonna take a while. It should have never gone up there. Just like, you know, unfortunately, people get bought, get caught in the hype, right? People, there's FOMO goes both ways. It goes up and down. So people got into it. Ripple just, you know, went too far too fast. Will BTC dominance go up to 40 plus percent again once the uptrend starts again? I don't know because uh, a lot of people has a lot more faith in um, in all coins, especially Ethereum. If Ethereum's market, uh, like literally, probably sixteen hours a day, and that's not a good thing. You know, this this goes back to where sometimes you need to take a break. But for me, since I have to make these videos, I have to write articles, I have to make recommendations, I have to uh, obviously cater to the insiders with questions. I gotta I gotta be on it like pretty much all the time yes this is my full-time job now that's how i'm able to do a live session at 10 30 a.m <laughs> Best all recommendation for 2018. Um, I don't know. All my low caps, you know, all the picks I reveal on Insider that I've been revealing, um, they all have moonshot ability, capable, and they're capable of that. So it, it just really depends on which one actually, you know, gets known or um, which one catches on. So I can't really pick one. Quantum, I like quantum. They've been held back. They've been held back, definitely. Pick nulls, yeah. You guys know I like nulls, right? I'm the, I'm the only person that ever talked about nulls. Now people are talking about more, but I, I brought up nulls months before anyone else did. But unfortunately, um, because no one else have really caught on to it, it hasn't really moved, but Nulls is definitely super, super undervalued right now. Where will the new money come from? And most, most of the people who got burnt left, you got to realize, okay, the amount of money in cryptocurrency is nothing compared to stocks or any other investment in the world. Most people are not investing in cryptos, not investing in cryptos. There's so much more new money that can flow in. It's it's mind boggling how much, how little the cryptocurrency space is in the world. Uh. Yeah. Worth it. Let me sell it. So unfortunately, that's how it is. No, I'm not Vietnamese. I'm Chinese. 
And the 2018 market, I've said this, and a lot of people don't believe me. I think it's gonna be six billion. I mean six trillion. I think the overall market cap is gonna go to six trillion. Uh, it's looking pretty good right now. Do I use any particular bots? No. All right. I think I'll end this. Most of the questions are, are kind of the same, repeating over and over. Um, why six trillion because i think that we were very close to one trillion um only a few months ago and i think going up 6x this year is actually a conservative number so i think six trillion is very reasonable um So once said Bitcoin is down to the Asian new lunar year, yeah, it could be. I mean, a lot of people said that, right? That's the second week of February, so we'll see. That's coming up. Pack coin or Leaf coin? I like, I like, uh, I like Denta coin more. Do you? Do I use chart analysis? No, not really. Not for cryptos. Um, I know that. So yes, yeah, sometimes they can, they can be right, but the whales control it too much. Crypto market is so low. That's why I don't I don't trust it that much. Do I hold them? No, I I honestly haven't looked into them as much as I should as much as I should have, seeing how it is a big big cap, but. Uh, yeah, I, should, I do need to look at them more. Pick for 40K subs, maybe. I don't know. It's, you know, my jump from 20 to 30K subs is really quick. Now, 30 to 40 is definitely much harder, so maybe I could do something. But the market has to recover. Otherwise, there's no point. Then it's coming out of the Android app in March good they definitely that's the market they want to hit they're, they're trying to hit the poor markets and most don't have any more money to put put in but if you do this is a really good time to buy um enigma you know chain link man i mean these are levels now we're getting levels where it's some of these especially the low caps the big caps not so much because i said big caps have been holding much better so if you look at low, big caps they're still not um they're not lower than say the beginning of december but a lot of these low caps are definitely lower than where they were two three even sometimes four months ago um for example you know uh, neblio when I was picking on Nebula, they were above 500 million, right? And now they're 167. Raiden, <clears throat> Raiden was um, in the in the in the sixes. Now it's, it's threes, right? So overall, uh, um, it's held decently. Blocknet, which I haven't talked about a lot, but they've been holding. They actually held really well. Um, Substratum is now under a dollar, 67 cents. Really good buy. You got like Poet that was, you know, around 300 million before. This is a good buy. Um, storage actually holding really well, around a dollar. So good for them. Um, you got, uh, let's see, turn that phone off. Apologize. Um, you got Storm, the recent one. Man, this, this has fell a lot, but Storm still has an uh, unbelievable advisory board. So I think there goes, still do very well. Athlon, um, Athlon actually held pretty well. I think it's 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 about 50% off, but, you know, and it's funny that 50% sounds good, but uh, it is when you compare to some of these that's fell, that fell 70, 80%. Uh, Theta, a lot of people are excited about under 100 million now. Um, you got Simple Token, uh, Ambrosis, Vibe. A lot of people were very excited about Vibe when they came out. Um, 
you know, they still might do a Super Bowl commercial. I don't know. Maybe they cancel now because Super Bowl commercials are very, very, very expensive. You got Trinity under $100 million, uh, that shows potential. Um, you got Wabi, one that I've been talking about a lot. Um, actually, an article for IB Times I'm writing for today, or I wrote for today, is about Wabi. So whenever that gets posted, I will tweet that. Um, you got AppCoin, Telcoins, Nulls, three that I like all all around 72, 73 million. Um, yeah, what else? Unicoin Gold, man, that they took a they took a huge dump, forty eight cents now. Um, Ido two seventeen. Uh, those two I like. The other day, Nano probably would have gone a lot higher, but. The fact they're in the green, and then you look at some of these um, these other coins such as uh, EOS, uh, V Chain. Yeah, they're down, but hardly. Neo down six percent. What surprised me was Ethereum. Ethereum was a rock. Okay, it was a rock yesterday, and then some point around nighttime it flipped, and it uh, Bitcoin is definitely the rock for today. Um, but still, Ethereum. Went down a little bit more than I anticipated, but it could be because a lot of people were holding on Ethereum and they simply pulled out Ethereum to buy other stuff for cheap. Um, so, yeah. So, I mean, overall market is, is obviously down, right? A lot of these are lower levels than yesterday, but that's to be expected. You know, one of the other lessons you go learn through this whole correction is knowing, you know, uh, knowing how to cost average down and knowing when to buy when things are low because wealth is built by buying low, okay, and selling high, and not the reverse. Um, easier said than done, I know, right? A lot of people have bought in very high, and you have no choice but to hold. If you can, or you have been cost averaging, you can only go so far because before you run out of money, right? Then you really have no choice but to just hold. But just trust me when I tell you guys this, right? We will get through this, right? The market will improve. And you're gonna look upon this time as a real uh, eye-opener, life-changing kind of uh, event where it's go only further and straighten, strengthen, straight. I don't know how to say that properly. Strengthen your skill sets in trading cryptocurrencies and holding for the long haul, and and all the other strategies I've been talking about for a long time. All right. So. Um, as for good buys, I mean, honestly, everything is a good buy. I even bought a nifty buy button. So everything is pretty much a buy, right? Um, but I'm not going to do that today. That's going to get annoying because every single thing will be a buy. Um, as for, you know, if there's anything that really sticks out today, um, you know what? I, I really don't know because there's so many good buys. And when you look at these prices compared to even a week ago, they're a steal. And then you go back maybe two weeks or a month, and then these are like at ridiculously low levels. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of good buys for today. All right, let, let's let's look at some of the comments here. Which coin is going to double moonshot? Uh, I mean, pretty much all people in the market to clear smaller profits and pay less. No, because it's already too late, right? It's passed. It's passed it on 17. So whatever they're manipulating right now is going to be for 2018 taxes. <sighs> I Yeah, I lost my house in bubble. Fuck Wall Street. Yeah, it's true, okay? Because... You know what? This is, I think a lot of people forget about why Bitcoin started. And I'll just tell you Bitcoin started because of the housing crash, right? People didn't trust banks. You know, banks and the government and the Federal Reserves and everyone that's in the financial industry have been running banks for hundreds and hundreds of years, right? You figure they know what they're doing. That's what the government wants you to think. Then, you know what? This uh, mortgage backed securities that was very toxic. They got greedy. All the banks got greedy. Everyone started selling these risky um, loans, and it crashed. It almost got to a point where it crashed the whole world's financial system. That's how bad it was. 
And the Federal Reserves had to print billions upon billions of fake money to to get banks to start loaning again. And the FDIC had to raise the insurance rates of accounts from 100,000 to 250,000. Otherwise, everyone was going to withdraw. Um, so it was really bad. That's why Bitcoin was invented because they wanted to take away, um, they wanted to take away that third party and allow people to actually hold and transfer money between each other, right? And it puts the trust back into the people. So um, I think a lot of people forget about that. People are kind of wondering why Bitcoin started and stuff. And I'll give you another example too, how, how taking your own money is a hindrance. I called Chase Bank this morning and I'm like, I want to take out $50,000 cash because I, I plan on doing something and showing you guys an example of that. And the guy I spoke to on the phone freaked out. He's like, why do you want to take out that much cash? We, you can't take out that much. Uh, he was questioning me. I'm like, it's my money. I can do whatever I want. How can I take it out? And he never had anyone ask him that. So now he has to go talk to his manager and call me back. Right? So um, with Bitcoin, if I want to transfer 50000 from one wallet to another or I want to transfer it to you guys, I could do that instantly without getting anyone's approval. If I want to take out 50000 cash from my bank account, from my own bank account, I'm getting questioned on why why I'm doing that and they're giving me a runaround of when I could do that or if I could do that. So it's a big difference. Was it for a deposit for a new Lambo? No. <laughs> I'll have to see how they predict it. And see how accurate it is. Why can't I buy Nano on Binance? They just open it up, so you might have to wait a little bit. Yeah, a lot of people love Nulls. I do too. I think Nulls is really, really, really undervalued at this point. Tron, man, Tron is just, it's holding back right now. Let's see, let's refresh this again. Tron is just like Ripple shot up way too fast, way too much. At four cents, it's looking pretty attractive, though. I, I got to say, well, look at all these. <laughs> Every single one is pretty much showing the same kind of uh, path down and it's bouncing up. Every single one. Right, with the exception of Nano, actually, and Lisk a little bit. Um, Tron will go back up. Uh, it's you know, unfortunately, it just it's in my opinion, it's not gonna go back up to where it was, like twenty eight cents, thirty cents. Um, not for a long time, um, but definitely to be in a high cap, a big cap at five billion, it, it definitely belongs there. But to, for it to go up to you know, for it to go up to like where it was, like around five or six that's just a little bit too high for trying in my opinion not at this stage at least telcoin i still like telcoin a lot and they have dropped tremendously where do they go yeah 77 million man um they were at a peak around 226 million so uh yeah definitely 70 or 80 percent definitely uh a good buy right now i don't know if you guys could hear that cash button i hope that's coming through any good icos honestly i haven't been concentrating that much on icos i i plan on to but i haven't really dug into icos recently Is Dash get, worth getting into? You know, I don't cover Dash that much, but it, it's definitely it's definitely the the most widely used, you know, the privacy coin out there, right? Um, but I don't I don't follow that much because I don't uh, I don't hear much about it. It kind of just does this thing, and it's been going up this whole year in 2017. Definitely made huge moves up. Uh, it allows developers to create decentralized automated solutions to thousands of tasks, which are carried out by third parties. 
All right. I don't know. To be honest, I don't quite understand what they're doing. So they have a wallet. They have a browser. Um, they have a dedicated hardware wallet. And they have this protocol. I don't know if they're, they provide... I don't know. They provide, they have white labeled, you know, modules or applications that they allow other people to utilize and, and use to develop. Um, I don't actually quite understand what they do. So can't say much about them. How low... Does the market cap have to go for you to get out of the denial stage and hit fear stage? Um, that's a good question. I mean, you got to be honest, right? I know that's probably a, you know, a question that's facetious, but uh, you got you got to be realistic, right? If the market crashes to two hundred billion tomorrow, yeah, I would say I would be panicking too. I mean, along with everyone else, right? But uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Would you buy? Bitcoin, NEO, or Binance coin in this current market? I would buy NEO right now. If I had to buy something out of those three, I would buy NEO. What color Lambo? Man, I downgraded from my Lambo dreams down to uh, a Camry, but I, I still I still like that, that green for Lambo. <laughs> Substratum, I like Substratum. I talked about them a lot. That was one of my recent picks, so I do like them. Uh, why do you believe the market cap will reach two trillion? Well, that that's just my interpretation, seeing how how far or how fast the market has grown in 2017. I feel like that was like the golden era. Last year was kind of like the awareness um stage where everyone got uh or everyone started hearing about bitcoin and cryptocurrency really started learning about it and now you're actually seeing a lot more adoption like say robin hood you know opening up bitcoin trading you got cash app that's opening up bitcoin trading um you definitely see cnbc and all these media whether it's good or bad talk about 